Myeloma is a disease of a cell that lives in the bone marrow called plasma cells. And the normal job of plasma cells is to make antibodies. So when we get a vaccine and we are ultimately, we help protected from that illness as a consequence of that vaccine, it's the plasma cells that do that, that make those antibodies. In myeloma, those plasma cells are transformed. They become cancerous and they continue to grow despite the immune system trying to shut them down. Myeloma is less common than lung cancer or colon cancer, but among the blood cancers, it's actually the second most common malignancy that we see. The most common symptoms that we see nowadays are patients who present with anemia, low red blood counts. Uh, as those plasma cells grow in the bone marrow, they crowd out the normal bone marrow and patients can develop anemia. Those antibodies can also become sticky and sometimes can stick in the kidneys and cause kidney failure. In general, we like to think about triplet-based therapy, three different drugs at the time a patient is diagnosed, collecting stem cells, discussing autologous bone marrow transplantation, and then talking about maintenance therapy. One of the main hallmarks of our program is the belief that combinations represent the best way to treat this. The change in survival has been really quite staggering. If you think about the average survival 10 years ago for a myeloma patient, it was somewhere around two and a half to three years. We expect patients to live beyond 10 years. And it's that concept of aggressive combination therapy at the time of diagnosis and access to clinical trials when needed that really helps us to deliver on that promise. You know, what I tell new patients is they're gonna be stuck with me for 10 to 15 years, if not more and that we're gonna to work together at every step of their disease to make sure they've got access to the best and latest and greatest, and in fact, have access to tomorrow's treatments today.